What's up everybody, Twin coming at you guys with another MLB The Show A team video. Today we're going to be drafting a Battle Royale team and then playing the first game with the team. Before we get into the draft, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and comment anything down below. I'm hoping we can draft an Immortal today, man. And okay. Oh, that's tough. You know what? I think we're going to do it, man. Honestly, like this is this is honestly a really good reliever. Sinker, Chain, Slurve. He's going to be my go-to reliever. Roberto Alomar, switch hitter. Pretty solid. Gary Carter, pretty solid hitting card. But neither of them can really like hit for power against righties and lefties. So I think we're just going to go Rich Gossage here, man. I think he's probably the best decision, hopefully. Uh, hopefully, I do not regret that this Chris Davis card. I think no, I don't have stats with him. Okay, I think I have stats with this, just the normal Chris Davis card, and I did amazing with him. Michael Brantley also a pretty solid all-around card, just an up and pretty solid hitting card as well. I think what I want to do though is just get Chris Davis, lead him off, man. He can face a common pitcher, maybe a bronze, but probably a common pitcher, and just hit dinger after dinger. Hopefully, one in every single game for us. Yimi Garcia, probably just going to get him out of the bullpen. We, we really don't need another righty. We got Rich Gossage. We don't need anybody else. Benny Biceps here. We could grab him. Brian Dozier, also a great card. I think we're going to go Dozier just because we already got a lefty. We don't really need another lefty right now. I love power hitters in Battle Royale, so I think Brian Dozier is the good pick there. Manny Machado, new Dodger right here. This is his rookie card, of course, on the Orioles. Could go with him. Darren O'Day, a pretty good reliever, but like I said, we don't really need another righty. We got Yimi, but we, we got Immortal Gossage. You know, we already drafted an Immortal, so I don't think we really need another one. Jacoby Ellsbury or Manny Machado. I think we're going to go Machado just because defense really does matter in certain situations, and he's a pretty solid hitting card, so I think that should be good for us. Mike Zunino, oh man, that power. Look at the power. I love power hitting cards, so I think we're just going to go Zunino there. Hopefully now we'll get a few more lefties. We got three pretty solid righties. Now we just really need some lefty bats in our lineup right here. Oh, this is kind of tough. Uh, I was hoping to just get, get a lefty reliever in the bullpen, you know, just get a bronze lefty, and uh, we probably want to use him too much. Let's just do, oh, wow, 45 fielding in the outfield. No way. Um, it, It's easy to replace outfield. We'll get Johnny Field. He'll be replaced no matter what. Uh, a common round, finally another one. We get another starting pitcher. Silver round, really need a lefty reliever. Don't have one. Hunter Pence or Jorge Polanco? I think we're going to go Jorge just because his speed is near Hunter Pence's. He doesn't have a great arm, though, for shortstop, man. I think we're going to go Jorge, though. Just we need a switch hitter. It should be fine. I don't really want another righty in my lineup. Hector Santiago, get a lefty right there. Another starting pitcher in a common round. Still no lefty, man. I really just want a lefty silver round in the bullpen. Jay Bruce, a pretty solid hitting card. Albert Almora Jr. For some reason, I always thought it was Alberto. Albert Almora Jr. Um, I uh, don't really want another righty. We're just going to go Jay Bruce. He's down six against righties. I don't think that's going to be a huge deal. Maybe one of replacing him. I don't know. We'll just draft him. Get Casey Lawrence, another starting pitcher. Man, I f you know what? We're just we're drafting the go. We're drafting Bartolo Colon. We we need to do that for sure. Um, I don't need. I, I I guess I could get one more righty. We don't really need. This is my last righty I can get though. This is literally the last righty that I need. We'll get the one with the sinker. That should be fine. 64 overall. Probably won't be using him too much. Can't do either of these guys. We got to get two more lefties. So we're down to our last position player, and hopefully the game gives us at least one lefty in each round. We're gonna do Harrison Bader. Go Cardinals. I'm a Cardinals fan. Went to Arkansas for one year of school. Oh man, do I want to do it? I hate Phil Necro. I seriously hate Phil Necro. Um, oh, man. I, I, you know, I, I, I can't do it, man. I hate him. I can't do it. We're going Alex Claudio. Give me one more lefty. Let's go. Jerry Blevins. I've been sucking with him recently, but I love Jerry Blevins. Even though I suck with him recently, I really like having him on my team. That's actually like the perfect way this draft could have gone in those final few rounds. Now we need to uh, just get this common round out of the way, then see what we need to replace on our lineup just our normal team so maybe do something with the bronze round but we got a gold and a silver round left to hopefully replace two outfielders honestly just two outfielders is, is kind of what we're looking to replace here um in this round we'll just go someone with a lot of speed maybe uh speed and contact this should be fine philip Irvin. you know it, it doesn't really matter but now we need two outfielders so oh man i want lefties i want lefties and there's no lefty that sucks, dude. Okay, so we got Chris Davis at first. I doubt he plays anything else. AJ Pollock can definitely go in the outfield. 
and Cal could go shortstop if we needed him to. We're just going to go AJ Pollock, man. I think he's the best bet, but we really need a lefty outfielder from this round. Gerardo Parra or Gerardo. Gosh, man, my pronunciation suck. I wish I knew more names. Or Seth Smith. I think we're going to go... Oh, man. I think we're going to go Seth here. Batting 450 with him in 13 games. 9 for 24 dingers. I think we're going to go Seth here. I think this is definitely the card. I'm going to go ahead, make the lineup, then we're going to try to go 1-0 with this team. This is the lineup that I'm rocking with. We got Chris Davis leading us off, the diamond Chris Davis, followed by Brian Dozier, Seth Smith, Mike Zanino, Jay Bruce, AJ Pollock, Jorge Polanco, and Manny Machado. I like to I like to switch off, you know, lefty, righty, lefty, righty, lefty, righty, switch, righty. I, I like to switch off every batter, so that's why we're doing that. And I just, I feel like this is the, the best lineup we could do. If you guys have any changes leave them down in the comment section below for sure we're gonna go ahead get into this game try and go one and oh we're playing the iowa bulldogs he has ben zobris jose bautista 92 matt count melky cabrera 76 evan gaddis 72 omar vizquel jason jacob stallings aj reed 82 doug dre back on the mound why is he wearing a catcher's mitt if he's on the mound man it doesn't make any sense we got de los santos on the mound why does he have two diamonds in his lineup but a gold in his rotation i don't get it we're the away team we're gonna go one and oh Chris Davis starting us off with a out. Dang it, man. I thought it was going to go down the line. That's a pretty quick out number one. I wish we had an immortal in our lineup again. Brian Dozier batting 537 for us with seven home runs. First pitch against Doug Drabeck. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought it was a home run. Oops. Seth Smith. Fly out. Dang it, man. One, two, three inning for us in the first. We got to just hit, man. I got to be a little bit more patient, and then we just got to hit Brian Dozier. We actually made some really good contact with him, but had a pretty deep fly out into the outfield. We got De Los Santos on the mound. What's his first name? I actually do not know what his, what his first name is, but he's on the mound. Common starting pitcher. Foul ball right there. Probably going to take him out after the first batter. Uh, hoping he can get the out here. Ben Zobris, a pretty solid hitter to that curveball. Kind of nasty, though. We're going to go to a one more time, try and get the strikeout here. Now that's when you the wind up, the throw, get the strikeout. Let's go. Out number. Okay, it's not even an out. He's going to get it. Yeah, he's going to. He's going to get it. Dang it, man. We got a strikeout, but he has the leadoff runner on base. All right, Immortal Gossage coming into the game. Yimi Garcia going to be warmed up a little bit. Let's just see how hard he throws. We're going to we're gonna try and throw as hard as he can the first pitch. A hundred and one miles per hour oh my goodness yeah this this is my go-to righty as this is my go-to pitcher it doesn't matter righty or lefty man he can just take on anybody as long as we just make start to start as long as we make smart decisions pitching he's just gonna blow by everybody look at this jose bautista can't catch up to it 101 miles an hour they can't do anything man this rich gossage is a nasty card oh no oh but no 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 all right, we got one. Yeah, we got one out. Matt Kemp off of Gossage's glove. Could have been a double play, but he's getting one out. So we got two down here in the first inning. Melky Cabrera popping it up. Not a one, two, three inning, but still 0-0 zero, zero after one. I really need to score a run here. Let's score a run, get some hits, play a little bit small ball. Mike Zanino popping it up. I'm getting under everything right now, man. I don't, I don't even know if I have a ground in this game. It just feels like I'm popping every single ball up can of corn shout out fuzzy out there jay bruce coming up to bat now doug drabeck still in the game six pitches four ounce for him i think that says something about how i'm playing we got to switch it up a little bit got to watch a few more pitches maybe watch at least one per batter for the rest of the game or something something to just not swing at every pitch jay bruce swinging at the first pitch getting another out man two pitches two outs here in the second inning what am i doing this is not how you play baseball. We actually watched the pitch with AJ Pollock, man. I'm proud of myself. Let's see if we can watch two in a row here. If it's a ball. It's, it is, okay. At least we didn't put it in play, though. So it, it's kind of an, another wasted pitch there, but I should not have swung at that. Man, this Doug Drabeck's nasty. I can't hit him. That curveball, just his breaking balls are unhittable right now. I don't like it. Oh, man, that change up low. One and two, two down. We got to get a hit. Come on, AJ. We're going to power swing here. I'm looking for a fastball. We're going to power swing. We're going to hit a dinger. Got the fastball, just wasn't in the zone. It's still on, though. We are still power swinging on this pitch. Here we go. 
like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and We'll get some runs in the third. I promise we'll get some runs in the third inning, okay? And Evan Gad is getting a hit off of a mortal goose. Okay, it's not a huge deal. It's a leadoff base hit. It was a sinker. I probably left it up a little bit. I did. I did leave it up some. Uh, so now we're just we're going for the double play here. Another sinker. 88 speed. It's going to be tough to turn. Brian Dozier does his best. 88 speed, though. Not quite enough to be able to get him out. Um, if he tries to steal, dude, that 101 mile an hour fastball is going to get him. Look at that. It's not 101 yet, but it's still triple digits. And he's taking a leadoff. Okay. Oh, um, I feel like he's going to steal, right? Come on, he's stealing. He's not stealing. What is he doing? I'm over here making myself look silly throwing these. All right, we're going to do one. Yeah, in case he's stealing, we're going to do one more slide step. He's not stealing. We got him out, man. I left him fastball kind of down the middle. It's too fast for him to do anything with, though. I thought we might get him out there. So two down in the inning. Not going to worry about the runner at all just because we got goose up you know we don't we don't need to worry about him we're gonna get the out anyways going to the third we really need a run i hate extra innings man i really just hate extra innings so we got to get a run here ball four to seth smith here in the top of inning number four we got two down in the inning gossage still in we didn't pitch hit for him in the top of the third just because you know there was already two outs i didn't i don't even have my first hit of the game yet and i'm like you know he's a pretty solid pitcher we can get at least one more inning out of him i might as well leave him in now we got to walk and our first hit of the game and jay bruce coming up to bat with the chance of driving a run here in the top of the fourth inning with two down i lost Wow. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts on Immortal Gossage. She had a really good game. Literally one pitch away from being out of energy there at the end. And I give up a home run. Um, I shouldn't have thrown a slurve to Melky, I guess. I, I literally had one hit in the game. Like, Obviously, it's on me. We lost 0-1. Uh, you can't win them all. We'll go out. We'll win 12 games in a row. You, you guys know we always win 12 games. I, I've done it like 17 battle royals in a row. So we're, we're, we're bound to do it again. But we're bound to make a number 18. And if we don't, like we have the past 17 where we won 12 games. So I'm not scared. I'm not worried. We lost the game. It really does not matter. Leave a like, though, if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for some more MLB The Show 18. Comment anything down below. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again so much for watching. Peace out.